nutrition is actually fairly simple, and I promise you I am not attempting or seeking to oversimplify it even slightly when I say that all you've really got to be concerned with here is in getting a well-balanced diet daily, just like you learned back in high school health class, and they weren't joking. Follow my reasoning here. A well-balanced diet, by definition, by valid definition, is one that provides your body with all the nutrients that it needs. Now, the important follow-up statement is the human body does not utilize nutrients beyond need. What happens, for instance, when you drink more water than you need? You pee it out. You don't have that same luxury with proteins, fats, and carbs because they contain calories. What happens when you drink or eat more calories than you need? You get fat. Now, here's the important follow-up question. What do you need calories and nutrients for? You need calories and nutrients to maintain your existing physical mass and to provide for growth. But remember, as I said at the outset, muscle growth on a daily basis, even at best, is negligible. In other words, you're not going to gain five pounds a week. If you were to gain one ounce of muscle a day, you'd actually be doing extraordinarily well. Keep in mind also that muscle is not mostly protein. It is not mostly protein. It's mostly water. Given that fact, why don't the muscle magazine people advocate that you drink 10 gallons of water a day? Because they can't sell you water through the mail. Muscle is 72% water. Now, if more is better, remember, that's their one cherished, misguided principle. If more is really better, then why not advocate that people drink 10 gallons of water a day because the primary constituent of muscle is water? Because we can get it free on the spigot. Interesting to note here is most bodybuilders are, are in fact, grossly overnourished especially here in America, where the average American is overnourished, the average bodybuilder is literally grossly overnourished, and the average bodybuilder does not make much progress, if any. If an individual is overnourished or even adequately well-nourished and he's not making bodybuilding progress, then do you see that his problem ain't nutrition? If you're overnourished, by definition, you've covered all your nutritional bases. How could you have a problem? If you're overnourished or well-nourished and you ain't growing, then your problem is related to training. In fact, and this is the key point, training is the first requirement. Nutrition is only a secondary consideration. It is only within the context of first having stimulated growth through proper high-intensity training that nutrition, nutrition then becomes a factor, and then it's quite simple once again. All you've got to do is get a well-balanced diet, which can be obtained by consuming a certain number of portions each day from the four basic food groups. Number one, cereals and grains. Number two, fruits and vegetables. Number three, meat, fish, and poultry. Number four, milk and dairy products. Just like we learned in high school health class, just as you would learn in college if you were to study nutritional science, just as they teach in medical schools. A well-balanced diet, by definition, provides the body with all the nutrients it needs. Nutritional supplements, understand, were devised not by bodybuilding entrepreneurs, but by medical researchers to provide, in fact, supplementation to overcome nutritional deficiency that exists usually for medical reasons. They were never intended to be used by healthy individuals consuming well-balanced diets because medical and nutritional scientists Understand what I just told you. A healthy individual consuming a well-balanced diet, by definition, is getting everything he needs. And the human body does not utilize nutrients beyond need. 